please introduce yourself. My name is Jackie Ignatova, and I teach environmental politics and sustainable development at the University of Maryland in College Park. Um, I live on the East Park, and I've been a resident of Mount Vernon for four years. I would like to make a few points regarding the notion of sustainability that the Conservancy has invoked as a rationale for the creation of eight foot deep cisterns surrounding the parks and the removal of 117 trees from Mount Vernon's parks. I'd also like to clarify our position regarding the trees. Olin's November 2010 technical report titled Ecological Services of Mount Vernon Place Trees mentions the need for the removal of eight dead trees and an additional six trees that will die in less than five years. <coughs> We're not opposed to the removal of those trees. Unfortunately, the findings in different arborist reports are not consistent. The report that I have in my hand indicates that there's only a total of 14 trees that are in the dead and dying category. Um, there are some that are arguably young trees, which I guess they consider to be easily replaced but there isn't really an explanation for that in the report. So we're concerned about, we would like the removal of the dead and dying trees, which in this report is only a total of 14. So the report um, not only indicates that there's 14 dead and dying trees as opposed to the 44 that are dangerous, or there, there's conflicting findings. But it also addresses some of the key ecological services that healthy trees provide us. Shade from hot summer days, rainfall interception, as well as the absorption of carbon dioxide and other air pollutants that negatively affect human health. I am in agreement with these observations, and I believe the Save the Trees Alliance is as well. With that being said, the report makes important omissions and there are major logical inconsistencies with the master plan. There's no mention of an alternative management plan that would remove just the dead and dying trees and a phased removal of the trees as they get older. What would be the carbon and air pollutant levels if you were to remove just the dead and dying trees and retain all of the other trees? Given Olin's own findings regarding the tree's capacity to intercept rainfall, there is absolutely no logical consistency regarding the need for the cistern, regarded by the conservancy as sustainable because of the rainfall catch. And furthermore, it should be noted that there is no mention of the cistern in this report. The most significant omission is the environmental cost of such a project. The report goes to great lengths to discuss the future benefits of the master plan. Again, without any consideration of other more moderate proposals. With complete disregard for the social and ecological costs. The creation of the eight foot deep cisterns, which the Conservancy anticipates will take anywhere between five to ten years to complete, not only apparently requires the removal of 109 alive trees, but it will also generate tremendous waste and emissions during this lengthy period of destruction and upheaval. There is no mention of the fact that during this large-scale infrastructure development project, there will be zero carbon and other emissions absorbed because all of the trees in the parks will be dead. There is no account of air, water, and noise pollution during the construction period. Thus, we only see a calculus of ecological benefits after the master plan has been implemented without any estimate or projection of the social, ecological, and economic costs during the construction process to all members of the Mount Vernon community. This means that this critical technical <laughs> report is both incomplete and inaccurate. I would like to make one final point regarding the ultimate objective of this master plan. If the plan's objective, as we have been told, is to create a world-class tourist destination, I would like to ask the commissioners a question. Do you honestly believe that it's the inadequacy of the parks that stands in the way of achieving this objective? <laughs> or perhaps, as I would imagine most would agree, that it's the far more serious problems that Mount Vernon and the Baltimore community at large faces, namely the drugs and the crime. Right on. 
Mountains. As a resident of Mount Vernon, and one that enjoys the trees and the parks every day, I urge you to consider a more moderate plan to maintain the parks and reject this obscene waste of money in a city that has far more serious issues at hand. I hope that clarifies the position. Well, let me just sort of clarify sure. the numbers. The sure. Numbers, rather than use different arbors report, I've been using No, this is the Olin, this is their Olin master report has ten, My numbers are as follows. <laughs> there are 10 trees in their report defined as dead or dangerous. There are five trees which they have said are, have, uh, have less than five years life. There's there are 19 planted too deep. Now, I don't know what that means, but I'm putting that in the yellow category. I assume planted too deeply means they're not going to live. I don't know what that <coughs> means. All they said, they're planted too deeply. And there are 15, there are 16 trees that they say are obstructing the view, but one of them is the magnolia. Since the magnolia is safe, we'll leave that aside. So, 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 so that's how I get to the 49. Uh, uh, I mean, I guess this is a problem of inconsistency, because this is their architect, this is the master ar architect, Owen. I know, I mean, that's actually part of the problem. So, is that there isn't consistent findings. So, so whatever the numbers are, um, you don't you don't you do not object to the removal of whatever the number is of the dead and dang dangerously planted trees. Correct. What about trees that have a life expectancy or five of less than five years? I believe that we do not object to their removal. Did you look at this category that they call planted too deep? I don't know what that means, but do you know? I what also that means? do not know what that means, now, which is something that needs trees, to be clarified by the conservancy. Well, I've looked at them. They are, they, they are mostly perimeter, very small trees around, but in, there are a bunch of those. And, 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 and then there are 15 trees that are in the middle of a plaza. There are 16 months, the, the, the elm, all obstructing the view. We are opposed to removal of alive trees just for obstructing the view. Okay. And then there are the, 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 the four um, ones that have been mentioned that are safe. Obviously, your position is that they should continue to be safe. The, the yes. Home. There are 44, by my count, uh, uh, healthy trees that, according to their report, have a life expectancy of more than 15 years. Now, the question is, at some point, I'd like someone to address the 20 trees that had, according to their report, have a life expectancy between 5 and 15. Because I believe that we are in agreement that there's a more, there's a middle ground here. Mm -hmm. That we can have, we can come up with a management plan that includes the phased removal of trees as they get older. There's no need for this kind of shock and awe kind of project here. <laughs> Does that clarify the position? Okay. I, I mean, I think this is also pointing to the fact that it's it's hard to understand these reports because there's inconsistencies, and these details need to be, um, you know, made more clear. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I do have one other question. Yes, sir. Well, I've got a, 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 actually two more questions. Sure. First of all, I. I, I I think it's pretty obvious that the largest grouping of large, healthy trees, uh, the location is in the east, uh, 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 east, east park, park, right? Mm -hmm. Would you also agree that there is not much old or healthy, other than other than the magnolia, in the South Square? Uh, that, that 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 the South Square is predominantly either dead, dying. <laughs> Very young no. or pretty unhealthy trees. No, no I'm not. Other angry. than other than the, the, the big magnolia. There are two no. magnolias, but one kind of growing on. There's no. one big. This magnolia. might have been the trees that fall into the too deep category, which I think we both are unclear about. No, you got five of them are fitting to that, but oh, you've right. got in the South Square in the in the, I think the categories you've agreed could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Well, about 15. Oh, no, you got some in the middle. You, you don't agree to ones in the middle. So okay, well, all right. Right. Okay. Now, most of the ones in the South Park are obstructing the view, which if you do enjoy parks, generally you walk around the park, so it doesn't really obstruct your view. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? Thanks.